Hey guys, if you're a new subscriber, my name is Rosemary and I record what goes on in my life. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to do mini cocoa bum cups. So we're going to start off by cutting our cups. Um, plastic cups work because those are the ones that I'm using in the video. But they are a bit hard to cut, so I would recommend using paper cups. Um, you want to cut them at least like three times. You could do one on one side and one cut on the other side. But I ended up doing for my other cup, I cut it three times. And I feel like that worked better. Um, after you cut them, you're going to want to add tape on the outside, as you guys can see on the video. So your chocolate doesn't go everywhere when you pour it in. Now we're going to add our chocolate into our cups. Um, make sure to cover your entire cup because if you don't, um, the chocolate will be thinner on one side than on the other and then your cup will break. Make sure to get all of the extra chocolate out of your cup. I am doing my second cup. For this cup, I didn't cut it. I just wanted to see if it would work if I didn't cut it. But it didn't. It failed. Now, for this part, we're going to cut off um, the top of your cup. You can use some scissors, an X-Acto blade, whatever works easier for you. If you're using plastic cups, let me tell you that it's hard, like super hard to get it off. It took me about like 10 minutes to get it off, but I was able to get it off and it worked amazing. Um, I just poured some chocolate inside of there and then it just literally just pops right out. <laughs> it was the best thing out of the whole entire process. <laughs> now we're going to remove our tape to try and take our um, cups off. As you guys can see from the back, I did attempt to take the um, cup that I didn't cut and it failed. You guys can see the chocolate literally everywhere. Um, but just use this pair of scissors if it's easier for you to get it out. That's what I did for this one. Keep in mind, for this cup, I only cut it twice. I did forget to say that you do have to do two layers of chocolate to your cups. Otherwise, it will break like it happened to mine. <laughs> Um, I did the lid for my other cup and it just slid right off super easy and simple now this cup I actually cut it three times and it was Very 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 easy to do so I do recommend to cut it three times Even though two works, but three times works best um, For this part I just got a hot plate and I just rotated my cups and my lids just to get the perfect edges Now it's time to fill our cups. Um, you can use any chocolate that you want. In this case, I just used um, Chocolate Cortez. I added about one tablespoon of chocolate and I added some marshmallows until the cup was full. And then for my lids, I added some chocolate into a Ziploc bag and I just added chocolate on the border of my lid. And then I kind of put a little bit of pressure so I could seal it. And then with my finger, I just cleaned it up a little bit. And then I added some chocolate at the top so I'll be able to add my marshmallows. And then for this part, I used a candy cane as my straw. You could use the paper straw, that works great too. Um, and then I don't know why I decided to add more marshmallows to the top. For my second cup, I only just left it with one layer of marshmallows. You could do either or, but I think I like it better with just one layer of marshmallows. <laughs> now it's time to decorate, which is my favorite part. Um, I added some red and green chocolate. It's almost Christmas, so I obviously did mine Christmas themed. Um, after I added my chocolate, I added some candy cane sprinkles. I got these at Walmart. And you have to make sure you do this step fast because 
If not, the chocolate that you drizzled will dry up. And then as you guys see, I have some like little Christmas lights sprinkles that I also got from Walmart. I just added that to the very front of my cup just to give it a little extra detail. <laughs> and then I added my edible gold glitter. This is how they turned out. I'm honestly obsessed with them. Now I was almost done and it was 1231 in the morning. <laughs> Um, I was super tired, but I managed to actually get them done and now we're just gonna pack them I use these little bags. I put them in and then I kind of twisted the top a little bit then to finish it off I just tied it and Yeah, this is how they turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video If you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would really help me so much also don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on those post notifications because I will be dropping in bangers. And yeah, enjoy this video of how they turned out. Thank you.